Hi there, this is Hans Forschner with Navcon Engineering. A short introduction in the 3D animation of train passbys. Um, I had the animation file already pre calculated for a train passby. Uh, the train uh, passes, um, we have uh, probably like two minutes worth of uh, data here available. Of every point in this grid calculation or this area that we are seeing here in this uh, sound plan graphics, we have uh, for every point we have um, about a thousand uh, time levels every eighth of a second. And um, the animation basically allows us to animate uh, the pass by as the train is going through uh, the, the project area and uh, shows the, the, co the colored contours and how they change. So this data is loaded at this point. And uh, so we go into the edit map. And in the edit map, let me move that over here. So let me turn that off here. So here is our uh, animated, uh, our uh, project view. And uh, I'll turn on, uh, activate the loading of the, the time history. So I'll turn that on. And um, we see here a sliding bar to start and stop uh, the animation. And here in the center, we have the sliding bar where we can actually move around and uh, look from step to step or from interval to interval. So here are the, the intervals. Uh, so here we are at this, uh, step 668. That's 1, 1.2, uh, 1 minute and 23 seconds and 23.5 seconds into the animation. We can move around. Uh, we can also place uh, receptors here in, um, or kind of like uh, look at a time histogram by putting in a location, for example, right here where this dot is, this yellow dot that's uh, a, a house, a projected house. So we can put that in and we get the actual time histogram of kind of um, at that location. So if you want, we can jump to, for example, this jump here from right here to here and see why do we have this huge jump. Well, we have here uh, the receptor is still in like a shadow zone that is caused by this building. And as we continue to the next, pos the next step, uh, it basically gets out of the uh, shadow zone and uh, then of course the noise level increases by from 45 to about 60 decibels. So we can do that and place the receptor any other location. So if we're close to the railroad, then this is more a typical pass by unobstructed by other buildings or barriers. So here uh, we have an increase the, the, the we have the, the beginning, we have the locomotives and then basically all the rail cars and then the, basically a trailing after the train has passed. Um, let me select maybe one of the in between those buildings here. It's a little bit more also like again, a very steep increase. And again, this is caused by uh, the, having the shielding effect of these buildings. And then uh, as the train goes through the uh, in front of between the buildings, then of course we have a huge increase and uh, the tail end is basically the same. So we have also some shielding right here. Um, yeah, so this is kind of like, uh, one of the things you can do here to kind of like investigate what uh, how the time histories, uh, histograms uh, look like. And then of course you can also uh, play the entire animation. And, um, and let me slide that forward to the beginning. So here we have the beginning, the train is coming in. Uh, let me move on a little bit forward. And uh, so here we have again eighth of a second intervals uh, to show kind of like how the sound is going in between buildings, uh, how the shadow effects of the buildings uh, affecting the noise propagation, how we get um, kind of like shielding effects and uh, like behind these buildings and how the noise goes in between the buildings and so on. Um, you can uh, save uh, all of that by clicking this uh, red button here at the end. And uh, that will actually generate an AVI file. So we can develop uh, right in an AVI file. This AVI file is uncompressed. So after you are done uh, generating this AVI file, you can set up the width and length and uh, which frames you want to uh, have in the AVI file. I typically recommend to use uh, Windows uh, 
Movie Maker to convert the uh, AVI file to a Windows Meta file, uh, which would be compressed and then, of course, much, much smaller than the original AVI file. Um, so this is all uh, in regards to the um, animation. Uh, the whole thing can be also shown in, in the 3D view. Uh, so in this case, we have a 3D view. And again, uh, we can play the movie and we see the entire thing in 3D. Thank you for watching this uh, introduction in uh, 3D animation or animated uh, train noise. And um, yeah, thank you.